Tango. You think what I'm thinking? It's Steve Brown and Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom is topping today's entertainment news after kicking this summer movie season into overdrive. Right on the heels of last weekend's record-breaking opening from Incredibles 2. Suit up. It might get weird. I'll be there ASAP. Incredibles 2 brought in a whopping $182.7 million last weekend, the most ever for an animated film. It was all a lie! Then this weekend, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom roared to a $150 million opening, giving the box office the biggest back-to-back -back weekends in the movie industry's history. Despite the box office bonanza, Fallen Kingdom couldn't top Jurassic World's opening number of $208 million in 2015. But it does set up the box office for a sizzling summer and bodes well for the movie industry after years of falling numbers, mostly blamed on the rise of streaming services drawing people away from theaters. In a new interview, Roseanne Barr is tearfully apologizing for her racist tweet that caused her show to be canceled. In the now infamous tweet, she called Valerie Jarrett, an advisor to former U.S. President Barack Obama, a result of the, quote, Muslim Brotherhood and Planet of the Apes having a baby. During her first interview since the fallout from the tweet, the 65-year-old actress spoke with Rabbi Shmuley Botek and emotionally apologized for her comments. I'm, I'm a lot of things. I'm a loud mouth and all that stuff, but I'm not stupid, for God's sake, and I never would have wittingly called any black person a say they are a monkey. I never would do that, and I didn't do that. And if people think that I did that, it just killed me. I didn't do that, although they think it did. And if they do think that, I am so sorry that I, you know, was so unclear and stupid. Late last week, a Roseanne spinoff series was announced that would follow the adventures of the Connor family without Roseanne. Meanwhile, there's one topic that is off limits when it comes to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's visit to Ireland. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will visit the country on July 10th and 11th, and according to the Sunday Express, government ministers were given strict orders not to mention Brexit during their trip. The order was put in place when Prince Harry's father, Prince Charles, and the Duchess of Cornwall visited the Emerald Isle earlier this month. This also comes after Markle's dad, Thomas, said in an interview that Harry was, quote, open to the experiment. The royal family is supposed to be politically impartial and is not officially involving itself in the negotiations. For City News, I'm Devo Brown.